Demons in Human Disguise A Revelation by Zipporah Mishela and Rachel Mishela Chisulo This post is to fully expose demons in human form as the Lord has exposed them to us. We had no intent of writing this post but it was a direct instruction from the Lord Jesus Christ and he is the one who gave us the title of this post and how it should be written, as we have done above. The Lord told us, write another post to expose demons in human disguise. Expose them some more. Some of the things are going to be hard to believe but that doesn't stop them from being true. Just like not believing that hell doesn't exist doesn't stop it from existing. The Lord told us, demons in human disguise have always been living among you even before I revealed it to you and they have always been working against you. Just because you didn't know that they existed among you in human form doesn't mean they were not there and were not working against you. Me revealing them to you is not what has made them demons. They have always been demons. Living life with false imaginations that demons do not live among us while pretending to also be human, does not help because you will not know how to fight spiritually and you will be overcome. The scripture says, my people perish, for lack of knowledge. Our encounters. These are just a few of the countless encounters we have had with demons in human form. When I, Zipporah, was at school, the Lord showed me a vision was I was with a group of my classmates discussing school work. We were standing on a grass loan outside. So, I wanted to talk to one of them and I called her name Salome. Not real name, I didn't finish my sentence because as soon as I called her name, she disappeared. The place she had been standing was empty and there was nothing but grass there. Then I turned to talk another one and I called her, Molly. Not real name, but she too disappeared. The place she had been standing also remained empty. There was only grass there. The Lord was showing me that these two are demons in human form. I was calling the name Salome and Molly, but there was no Salome or Molly there. That is why they had disappeared. There was no human named Salome or Molly standing there. They didn't exist. That is why the place became empty and there was nothing but grass there. There were only demons, which had put on human-like flesh in order to deceive people that they were human and had acquired the name Salome and Molly. When I looked at the place where they had been standing, I noticed that the grass had completely flattened and become dry like it had been ironed. Someone looking would see as if the grass was normal, unless if they could see in the spirit. The Lord is showing us that these are not human at all and that we should never think of them that way just because they are hiding in a body that looks like ours. The Lord had also revealed to me that a certain girl whom I know was actually not human but a demon from the pit of hell in human disguise. After she saw that she was now exposed, she came to openly attack me at night. I was between sleep and wakefulness and I could see her coming to attack me. When I looked at the floor, I saw that she was leaving footprints on the solid floor as if it was a fresh floor. But the Lord helped me during the attack. He wanted to show me that these are spirits, real demons no matter how human they may look. Demons in human disguise are not far away from you nor do you just encounter them once in a while. You encounter them every day but you just don't know they are demons because there is no physical way of knowing them except the Lord reveals to you. They are your classmates, colleagues at work, church mates, neighbors, friends, and even relatives for example, cousins, nieces and nephews. When your brother or sister marries a demon, their offspring will be demons and these will be your nieces and nephews. They do not accidentally become demons nor are they born and then they discover that they are demons. Not at all. These are the same demons who were cast out of heaven with the devil. They willfully come to earth to fulfill a mission and in order to fulfill that mission, they need a body that looks human so that they can convince others that they are also human. When a woman is pregnant, a human-like body in form of a baby will be forming inside her body. But in order for that baby-like form to have life and be active, another demon from the pit of hell will come inside this baby-like form to stay inside it and will go through all the baby growth stages in the womb and will even be kicking. You won't even know it's a demon. It will be born on earth and everyone will think that it's a baby but it's a demon and it will be growing like any other normal child and will go through all the stages of life 
from baby class all the way to tertiary education and will start work and even get married. Human beings can only be produced when two humans marry each other but when you marry a demon, you have demons which come from hell but will pretend to have been born like we explained above. They come in human disguise so that they can influence humans to sin. Their whole lives here on earth with a human-like body, they are working their mission of making people sin. They also pretend to die and when they do that, they just come out of that fake body and go back to hell, until they have another mission on earth that requires their physical presence. Their punishment is the lake of fire together with the devil as it is written in Revelations. They are already doomed and can never can saved. They come in all forms, like pastors, like beggars, like the rich, like the poor, like the deaf, dumb, blind etc. You name it. Some pretend to be Christians, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, and even atheists. They pretend to be everything humans are so that they can associate with people from all walks of life, races, and class. They mix with humans so that they can influence them and make them sin in various ways e.g., dirty jokes, secular TV, artificial hair, making women wear trousers etc. They set trends of life to make sin appear normal. They do all these things to make them look like the normal and humans start imitating them and doing these things as well. They make it seem like it's alright to live a double life and like God doesn't mind that. The Lord had also told us that Satan writes movie stories and demons, along with human satanic agents act them out. Majority of those who act movies are working for Satan even though physically, it may seem like they are working in order to make ends meet. Even if demons come to earth and pretend to be a pastor, their doom is already set and nothing they do can make them go to heaven. God can be telling you to stop a certain sin but you will say, even this pastor or that pastor dresses like this or does this or that and so I will not stop. For them to be doing it, it means it's not a sin. Going to heaven is a personal journey. That pastor you are trying to imitate may be a demon in human disguise working its mission of dressing in an indecent way while pretending to be a pastor so that it can influence humans to dress the same. You have a chance of going to heaven while it is already doomed and it is trying to make you doomed with it. Just like you have a soul inside you and when your soul leaves your body you die, the same for these demons. When the demon leaves that fake body, it becomes lifeless. They are not in any single way human. They pretend to be human in every way and will even talk about God and may even pretend to have been sick and have received a healing from God and give testimonies of their healing. To you it will look real but it's all fake. The Lord told me, Rachel, that demon incarnates really hate to be exposed. He told me that they wish they had remained hidden forever and they really hate the revelation of demons in human form. They are demons from the pit of hell whom Satan sends to come to earth to pretend to be human, they come in a human-like body and look, talk, act like humans but they are demons, here on a mission. Some even pretend like they don't know each other, when they are here on earth in a human-like body. Sometimes, they will even pretend to hate each other but they are all working together. The Lord told me, these demons in human form are the very demons from the pits of hell, they look human when hiding in a human-like body, but look at who they really are. Then I saw a very huge demon, so big and scary. Its foot was about the size of a double bed. And yet this very demon was in a human-like body, and living among humans and nobody even knew this was what it really looked like. Ever since God started exposing them to my sister Zipporah and I, we have encountered numerous of these demons. Their existence isn't something we could deny even if we wanted to, because even when we don't want to see them, we still see them everywhere we go. God still shows them to us. He's given us a gift to see them and we too wish they did not exist, but they do exist. They are here to take you to hell. This is their major mission. They work exactly like demons which are in the spiritual realm, in fact they are the same demons. You can never know them unless by revelation. There is so much darkness on earth and without being close to Jesus, you will not overcome. You do not necessarily have to have the gift of seeing these demons in order to overcome them. Seeing them is good because you will know whom exactly you are dealing with. 
but the most important thing is to be filled with the Holy Spirit and have a very close relationship with Jesus Christ, this is the only way you will overcome them. Only Jesus will help you overcome their traps. Jesus told me that these demons work best in ignorance and they are so desperate to keep their cover such that if a couple are both demons, and one of them gets exposed as a demon in human disguise, the one who has not yet been exposed will do anything to avoid being exposed like their partner. Jesus told me that they will even be ready to divorce their partner, all in an attempt to keep their disguise just so that they can work properly. They will pretend to be horrified and be ready to divorce, just to keep their own cover. Note that everything they do is simply a mission including marriage. They don't even love each other and have simply been instructed to live and act as husband and wife. Even their friendship to you is a mission and they constantly give updates about how they are progressing in their mission against you to the satanic kingdom. They are demons who are just wearing a human-like cover to fit in and work properly and every human emotion is simply an act. There is a woman whom God had revealed as a demon in human disguise, I first met this woman in a bank, when I didn't even know who she was. She was just a random person, but when I saw her, I could see with my spiritual eyes that she was a demon. She was extremely creepy, and as I looked at her, I kept thinking to myself, they really know how to pretend to be human. A few days later, someone I know introduced the same lady to me. Coincidentally, she knew someone I know. Then I remembered her as the lady I met in the bank. She knew I knew who she was but she still pretended. Later, I heard a knock at my door, when I went to check who was at the door, it was the same lady with her daughter, a girl of about seven years old. They were both smiling at me, still pretending to be human though they knew I was seeing who they really were. Later that night, God showed me what had really been happening. I saw a vision of this lady and her daughter knocking at my door, and when I opened, standing right there in front of me were two ape-like creatures, standing upright, with big red ugly eyes, they were both growling at me. Yet in the physical, while hiding in their human-like bodies they had been smiling at me in a very friendly way. Why do they keep pretending? God had showed my husband why these demons keep pretending to be human even to the people who God had exposed them to as demons. God said because these demons have been in existence for centuries, they see all humans as babies. For example, there's someone whom God exposed to my husband as a demon in human disguise. Physically you can never suspect him and even my husband was shocked when God showed him this person was a demon. God showed him that this person was a demon and that he was there even in Ahab's time and also that even at that time he even knew about electricity. We were shocked because people then didn't know electricity but God said this person knew about electricity in great detail even then. The satanic kingdom is more advanced in technology than human beings, that is the truth. But when they come to earth they pretend to just know as little as humans know about everything. They pretend technology is new to them too, and all these technological devices which are being invented on earth are new to them too, yet they have had them for years in the demonic kingdom. These demons have been in existence for centuries, when they come to earth in a body which looks like a baby, you will think it is a baby who is innocent and knows nothing. They will cry like a baby, reason like a baby, and do everything babyish, yet it is all an act. They are much older than you. They have been alive for centuries and are just hiding in a small body. They already know so much, but will pretend to just know as much as humans are expected to know. But because they are spirits and have been around much longer than us and know so much more than us, they see us as babies and easy to deceive. They know how humans act, how humans reason, they have been tricking humans for centuries, therefore they see us as easy prey. That is why you cannot defeat them physically. They are much more complicated because while we are physical beings, they are spirits and can only be fought in the spirit. Yes, even those that look like babies are much more complicated than you are because while you are a physical being, and you are physically much older than them, in reality they are way older than you, they know much more than you know and in their eyes you are the one who is a baby and because they see you as a baby, God said that is why they do not give up trying to deceive you. Even when you know who they are, 
they will use every opportunity to try to make you doubt what God showed you. That is why they can only be fought spiritually because with the Holy Spirit you are much wiser than them. You will overcome them with the Holy Spirit. God wants you to know these demons exist among us so that you understand how dark the world is and know that Jesus is your only hope and know that do not follow people because some are actually not people. You cannot tell who they are physically. It is not about how someone behaves, dresses, talks, that is not how you tell a demon. We have seen many who look holy on the outside and talk as if they are holy but God had exposed them to us as demons who are just pretending and also in their own way, and also working just the same way L the demons who are working indecently are working. They too are just the very demons in the pits of hell and they do everything the other demons do i.e. casting spells to make you do different things, attacking your prayer life, or teaching false doctrines etc. They are just acting and dressing according to their mission. So only God can reveal them to you.